Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. As you can tell behind me and on the ground, we're not too far away from whitetail deer hunting season, at least in Ohio. Last fall we talked about chokes and modified chokes and whether you should use a rifled slug or not in your specific shotgun. I believe during the course of that video I happened to mention a hack that you can use out in the field in the event that you find yourself out hunting deer with a choke in the end of your shotgun barrel. A lot of people use shotguns for multiple purposes and many as the hunter has been sort of caught out in the field with a choke that he does not know will actually allow a slug to pass through it. A friend of mine put me on to this tip a couple of years ago and I think it's very useful and quite actually amazingly simple but really works. I have my shotgun behind me, we've seen it before on the channel, it's just an inexpensive Citadel semi-automatic 12 gauge. But I put a choke in the end of the barrel, and when I grab it off the table, I'm going to try to get a close-up of right now how far the choke is sticking out past the end of the muzzle. And when we fire the shotgun a couple of times, that's going to become important, especially when you see our dime demonstration. So let me grab it right quick, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. As you can see, none of the choke is sticking out past the end of the barrel. And when we do our dime test, you can see it sort of goes if I press it. It should travel freely through there. If not, you run the risk of destroying the end of the barrel or potentially the choke or shooting the choke out the end of the muzzle. This, in my opinion, would be something I would try and remove if at all possible. But what I'm gonna do is shoot at the shotgun a couple of times and hopefully what we're gonna see is even though this is maximum tight, what we're gonna see is the choke start to move out towards the end of the barrel, in my humble, not a good idea. So let's see what happens. Okay, so hopefully what we're gonna demonstrate is that this choke will start to work its way out the end of the barrel and all I'm gonna do is just point it downrange and hit the trigger. On safe. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. A couple of more rounds will bring it right to the surface. Okay, ready? I'm gonna go three in a row, Matt. Just so as you can see, after shooting the gun several more times, it backs out to a significant degree. This is not a good thing because I had the choke to maximum tight when this demonstration started. Now, it's got just enough clearance to not catastrophically fail. However, that's a big gamble and I wouldn't recommend that you take it. Remember, if the dime doesn't pass through freely, you need to make an adjustment. So, this is the modified choke that I used for today's demonstration. If they're very common, I would suggest that this is actually kind of a Beretta style choke for people that know what that means. I'm not a huge shotgun guy. I just know they work or they don't and you have to have the right one depending on what it is you want to do with the shotgun. Like all chokes, it has a taper to it. So if you use the one end, of course it goes right down and then she kind of gets stuck. So the modified to me is not something that I would consider using for deer hunting. I just think that you're asking for trouble and it takes no time at all to back this out of your shotgun if you have the proper tool. In fact, people have even been used, known to use quarters. Not an uncommon thing. So I hope you've enjoyed this field hack and happy and safe hunting and I hope you get a whitetail. 